Meghan Markle has defied the Queen with her decision to attend a baby shower friends threw in her honor during an unannounced visit to New York before delivering her first child. Meghan Markle traveled to New York last week for a five-day visit to the East Coast in what is expected to be her last visit to the States before she delivers her first child in the spring. But the Duchess of Sussex has been warned she could have attracted the disapproval of the Queen as she decided to attend a baby shower close friends decided to throw for her at the fashionable The Mark Hotel in the Upper East Side. Channel 7 Entertainment reporter Peter Ford said, There may be some tone of disapproval about this, because there are reports going around that the royal family don't approve of baby showers and she is defying them by going to New York and spending time with her close friends in New York. There is a dispute about whether the royal family do disapprove of baby showers or not, this may be just more of a social visit just to get away for a few days from royal duties. Hopefully, it's going to be a calm and pleasant time, she's clearly a subject of interest from the paparazzi so I suspect it won't be that easy. Meghan however would not be the first royal to have a baby shower as sister-in-law Kate had one thrown in her honor before the birth of her eldest son, Prince George in 2013. Among the illest guests pictured attending the Duchess's celebration was Amal Clooney, the renowned human rights lawyer and wife of Hollywood superstar George Clooney. Fellow actor Abigail Spencer, who shared the TV screens with Meghan on legal drama suits, was seen arriving at the venue with a suitcase in tow and a large brown bag. The pair spent Tuesday together where they were pictured heading out to have lunch at the Surrey Hotel. Other guests pictured arriving at the hotel on Wednesday include Meghan's makeup artist and friend Daniel Martin who did the Duchess makeup on her wedding day. Traditionally the royal family has frowned upon baby showers but historic links between the modern present giving party and historical conventions have been known to exist, most notably during the reign of Queen Victoria, great-great-great-grandmother to the Queen. Speaking at the time of Kate's baby shower for Prince George, an insider said, a baby shower wouldn't normally happen if you're in the royal family, but there is now a modern way of thinking. A source told U.S. magazine Harper's Bazaar, the trip is a lovely chance to catch up with friends and spend time in a city she loves. This will be the last time a lot of them will see Meg until after the baby is born so it's nice to share precious moments. It's been a relaxing visit. Nothing beats face time with your friends. Meg will be flying home refreshed and relaxed, and with a lot of new baby clothes. The trip to New York comes when the Duchess is believed to be approximately 30 weeks into her pregnancy. Most airlines allow pregnant women to get on their plane until the 37th week, and the NHS advises not to fly after the 38th week. Speaking to a crowd of well-wishers earlier this year, Meghan confirmed she was six months pregnant putting the expected birth of her first child in April at the earliest.